Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode in the series I'm doing of the Unreal Engine Marketplace Reviews. So what we're going to be going over today is the working computer and Wi-Fi system, and this is around £20 on the Marketplace store, which is roughly $22, and obviously you can do the conversion to your own currency, or just click on the link in the description down below, and if you've got your correct currency set up on the Marketplace, it should automatically convert it for you. So again, we're going to be going over this system today, and this is supported in only Unreal Engine 5. It may work in other engines as well, but it has been made for 5. And the asset type of this is a complete project. So this is a simple, easy to use and beginner friendly computer and Wi-Fi system simulation with multiple applications. And it's just a simple plug and play system. It's very, very easy to use. I've had a go with it myself. I've looked about it. It's great. It's very simple and easy. And it also looks like there is going to be further additions to this in the future to come as well. So I think this is absolutely great. Now this is a relatively new asset so there are no reviews on it. There is a question which has been answered as well so I think the developer is going to be answering questions on this too. And But the question is just please a video so it's just asking for a video which if you check the description it does say a feature video is going to be announced. So they are going to put a video on here as well but obviously you can see this one too. I'll go into actually showing off the system more in a second and talking about it. But some other stuff from the marketplace page is that they're also going to be announcing a tutorial playlist so how you would use it how you set it up how it all works but in the meantime there is also a documentation on here which i've gone through i've read through as well and it does look very comprehensive very easy to understand and really does help you know what it is you're going to do and how to do it and how to advance it as well so it's very intuitive in engine as well even if you don't understand it this documentation will really help you to understand it further so let's have a look in engine and then we'll cover some more of the marketplace page details in a second. So as you can see when we get in game what we're going to have is you need to be able to connect the PC to the monitor. So you can do that by pressing G which you can see I'm doing here and those two are now linked. You also need to turn on the Wi-Fi box and you can change some settings on that as well but we'll go into that in a moment as you have to do that in editor not in game. Once you start the PC you can obviously then connect to the different Wi-Fi's which you have and if you've not connected the Wi-Fi won't work so you won't be able to access the internet, the email or anything along those lines. As well as the Wi-Fi this is obviously a computer system too so you can change a load of different things on here as well for example the RGB which you can see me changing here right now and obviously as you can see on the desktop there is also multiple different applications already on this system on this PC so we've got email, notepad, uh, banking, the internet, loads of different stuff and I'm going to be going through some of those here as well. So we've got an email which does have a login system too and on the notepad you can see there is already an account set up for us which we can log into right here right now. So we've got test as the username and then the password there which we can then input and we can see all these different emails which we have here. You can read emails, you can receive emails and you can send emails as well. So this just works the same way any normal email system would but obviously it's now inside of a game ready for us to use too. Now you notice throughout the video I sometimes keep leaving the, the system, leaving the PC, so I'm coming away from the monitor. That is because to leave the monitor you have to press shift. Now I instinctively hold shift to do a capital letter when I'm typing, so what happens is when I press left shift it then also leaves the PC. If I hold right shift it doesn't, but obviously that may be something you might want to change or maybe the developer will change as well, so if you're maybe typing something, pressing shift doesn't leave the PC, it only does the normal thing for capitalizing letters. That's just a little bit of advice and something to be wary of. But obviously, other than that, I think it's absolutely great the fact that you can still type in everything in here and it works the same way as normal. And as you can see as well, while I'm talking over all this, we are also creating our own account to sign into as well. So we can sign up and create our own account and this will work for endlessly any amount which you want to have and however you want to set it up. So we've just created a new account there. Let's now try and sign in with tester2 and the password I set up and you can see we've now got a fresh inbox and a fresh gmail account or email not gmail sorry email account here. On the notepad we can also type in our own stuff as well so this also works however you would want it to. Security obviously doesn't do anything at the moment but I think they're going to add that in the future and we also have the internet here and they have different pages set up but one of the only ones which actually does anything at the moment is this gambling one. Now obviously I'm not promoting gambling in any way, shape or form at all, but we have an example of it here. So you can deposit money, you can withdraw money, and that will go straight from your bank account, which is already set up here. Obviously not your real bank account, the one on the computer 
in here. So I'm just going to put a $500 bet on red and let's see what happens. And I promise I didn't try this multiple times to try and get it for the video. That was genuinely my first attempt and I did win. Obviously not a lot, but we've got our money and I'm just going to withdraw that straight away. We took our win. We're not going to gamble any further. We don't need to. So you can notice that's then updated straight away in the system bank account. Obviously again, not real money, but we have it there. And now I'm just going to disconnect from the Wi-Fi and turn off the PC because again, showing you can do all this other stuff with the computer and Wi-Fi system on here. You can then turn on and off the PC and the Wi-Fi and disconnect and reconnect it all perfectly like so. And again, obviously we have two PCs in this example showing you can have as many different PCs set up in this level or in your game as you would like. Now let's also go through some of the other settings which you can change for the Wi-Fi and the computers. So if we look at the Wi-Fi box here and select it, you can see we can change the Wi-Fi speed. So at the moment it's on the fastest on NASA. Let's set it to terrible and see how terrible it actually is. So let's turn it on. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi, do all the normal stuff we need to do. And then let's go to the web and actually try and go onto that website which we were on earlier. And you'll notice it's taking ages. It's very slow loading up. And as I'm coming off as well, it's also very, very slow. So again, you can really make this realistic, either having incredibly fast, incredibly slow, or just average internet speeds. So it's not just an instantaneous thing, it's very realistic. And if we to go back and change some other settings, you can see we can also change the Wi-Fi password as well as the Wi-Fi name. So I'll do the name in a moment, but let's just do the password first. So we can actually password protect our Wi-Fi, because again, that's a very common thing you would actually have with a Wi-Fi system in real life. You'll also notice I'm having to reconnect the PC and the monitor every single time. I should mention there is a save game system to this, so you don't have to do that every single time. You don't have to turn the Wi-Fi on, it does save and load. However, I kept forgetting to properly close the game. I just kept shift escaping, which obviously doesn't save it, bypasses that system in Unreal, but it does actually work. I have tested it, I just completely forgot while I was recording this. So I just wanted to put that in mind and mention it. But obviously you saw there as well, I was inputting a password. So I had to type in a password to connect to the Wi-Fi. And here we can also change the name of the Wi-Fi as well. So now we've got a password protected custom Wi-Fi name with a different internet speed, which we want as well. Again, all fully customizable that you can see here. So you can have multiple Wi-Fi networks set up in one place. So maybe your game is set in an apartment complex. You can have multiple Wi-Fi's all with different passwords. So somewhere where I've seen something like this is Welcome to the Game, I believe it's called, the one about the dark web and all that. You have all the different Wi-Fi's and the Wi-Fi passwords. You could use something like this in a game like that. But that's all we have for the Wi-Fi. The monitor, we don't have anything we can change. But for the actual computer itself, what we can do is only one thing, and that's just enable or disable RGB. So you saw earlier I was setting up an orange colored RGB for my own branding theme. You can either have that enabled or disabled. So if you've maybe got a different kind of PC case that you're using, so you've got your own custom asset and it doesn't have RGB, you can just disable that there perfectly like so. And let's also just have a quick look through some of the different assets and blueprints we have in here. So I'm obviously not gonna open up all the blueprints and show you them because then you'd be able to just copy the code and you don't need to buy it. So I'm not gonna do that, but you can see all the different assets and all the different blueprints and materials and all that great stuff that we do have available for us with this here. And also the enumerators, all these different things, the enumerators, interfaces, it keeps it running nice and efficiently. So it's really gonna work well of how we want. And again, as I've been going through this, it's all been working perfectly fine for me. I've not had any issues. The only thing obviously was the left shift to type was also removed me from the PC, but that's really the only criticism that I've personally found while using this. And let's now go back through some of the marketplace page details. We are going to be coming to an end of this. I'm just going to go over some of the features which they've put on the page themselves. So everything I was talking about there was just from my personal experience. This is on the marketplace page too. So some of the main features of it are it is a plug and play. So the only thing you need to do is switch the game mode once you've imported it all into your project. It's very easy to add multiple applications. So again, they've got the banking, the internet, the email, all of that already set up, but you can easily add your own stuff on there too. It's neat, simple, and easy to understand, and it's all got beginner-friendly blueprints. And I did also want to mention, but I forgot, I have had a look through all the blueprints and they're all very, very well made. They're efficient and all nicely commented, and they are neatly organized, meaning you can very easily look through it all and understand what everything does and where it all goes. 
and this makes it very easy to modify or expand upon. So again, as I was saying, I'm not gonna actually show you this because that's obviously then showing you the code, which you do need to pay for to see, but you'd have to take my word for it. It's very nicely laid out. There's a simple money system, which you saw in the banking and the gambling. There's a maximize and minimize windows with drag and drop feature as well. So I believe you saw me doing that when I was moving the notepad on top of the email browser. You can see you can actually move different windows, minimize and maximize them to change how they look on the monitor and system themselves. And there's also a saving system for everything necessary, which I was going over as well. So which monitors and PCs are connected, if the Wi-Fi is on, how much money you've got and all that great stuff. So the six applications included on the computer, which we've already gone over. So this is the web browser, this computer, email, bank, security, and notes. The security, as I said, isn't available, but they've said on the marketplace page here, it's a work in progress. So some more of the Wi-Fi section of this is you can configure the Wi-Fi speed, the Wi-Fi radius, and the Wi-Fi name and password. So actually, yeah, I was changing the radius earlier and I did forget to mention that. So what you can see is basically how far the Wi-Fi will reach from the box. So maybe let's say your computer is on the complete other side of the room, you have to have the radius big enough to be able to actually reach it. Now I don't believe the further away you are, the slower it runs. If that is a thing, I haven't noticed that and they haven't said it, but if it's not, that's maybe something to add in for the developer, That because I think that would be a nice system as well. So they've also got a roadmap on here, so they're going to be adding in the security app, blackjack on the gambling, a simple time system, so you'll have seen in the bottom right that it just said there was midnight, there was no actual time. They're going to be adding in more applications, an enhanced saving system and multiplayer support as well. So at the moment it's not network replicated and ready for multiplayer, but they're going to be adding that in the future. And finally, the technical details is there's 11 blueprints, 12 widgets, 6 structures, 5 enumerators and 5 assets. The assets obviously being the computer, the Wi-Fi hub, the monitor, the desk and the CCTV camera. The input is both keyboard and mouse and the gamepad. And obviously, as I just said, it's not network replicated at the moment, but it will be in the future. And so I think that's it for this review on the working computer and Wi-Fi system. I've gone over and covered everything which I want to do. I've obviously played it myself and shown you that playthrough, given my comments on it, given my criticism, given where I think it can improve. But obviously, like I say, this is an early release and there is a roadmap for future updates on this as well. So that might mean the price might go up in the future. I don't know that for certain the developers not said anything but that oftentimes does happen, so it might be worth getting it now. But either way, there's going to be updates in the future, and I think this looks absolutely great, especially for the price it's at. So let me know in the comments down below if you like the look of this asset, maybe where you'd like to improve it, because I'm sure the developer would love to see stuff like that, of how they can obviously improve, and what you do already enjoy about it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me showcasing this asset. Again, I'm gonna be hopefully doing some more of these in the future as well. And if you did enjoy, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as we're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.